Thanks for joining in. My name is Basha and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to um, just make a video about what's in bud and what's in flower in my collection. And I would like to start off with this gorgeous new Phoenicia, Shonky Yudin. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing the name right. It's one of those new Phoenicias that flowers are quite unusual. And they're not your normal new Phoenicia flowers. The what you might call it Peloric. So it's not fully open yet. It's extremely fragrant at night. But those are the flowers. They look like they are a little bit frazzled or a little bit, I don't know. They look definitely peloric. They don't look like a normal Neo Phoenicia flowers. I absolutely adore this particular plant. The care is just as regular Neo Phoenicia. Um, this one is mounted on moss and as you can see probably it needs now remounting again, remossing very very soon before the autumn comes. Usually I would remoss them in the spring when the new roots start coming out, when the new Phoenicia is waking up. Um, but I will have to see because I missed the spring remossing this year. So I have to see if I can get away with it doing it in the summer. So just the last look and those beautiful and very unusual flowers. Next, another new Phoenicia. This one is variety Shuntano. I'm pretty sure I am uh, watering the names. And now those flowers are, as you can see, not pure white as usual new Phoenicia flowers. So you've got the uh, stem of the flower, which is really deep purple, going to a lighter pasta color. The flowers have got tiny tiny tinge of purple and obviously beautiful spur there we go again um i have got two flowers here and a little flower spike coming out here excuse my fingers i have been gardening now um again this is just typical neo Phoenicia care mounted on moss and those flowers, just like with normal finishes, are fragrant at night. And another new finisher. This one is variety King Kojaku. And I have got one, two, three, I think three or four. Flower spike on those one. Flower spikes on those one. This one. Those are pure white. Again, fragrant at night. And they just look like typical New Phoenicia flowers, but they are beautiful. Those are very, very fragrant. Um, and very vanilla, a very sweet um fragrance. And this is a specimen, as you can tell, um, it has got multiple growths. When I got it, I think I got it a few years ago, must be five or six years ago, and it was just a single growth. So that shows how beautifully, um, how beautiful a uh, Neo Phoenicia growth pattern really is. Next we have gorgeous, juicy buds 
um, of Vanda Arkana Tatchenko. Now, I'm hoping this is the uh, correct ID, although looking at the blooms and seeing a pink tinge to it, I'm thinking it's one of the parents um, that went into a makeup of um, Harkana Tachtenko. Um, I think I'll prefer the parent rather than a, this particular cross because the blooms are gorgeous. They are pink, kind of yellow greenish. Um, so yes, I'll prefer the parent, although if it turns out to be correct ID, of course I'll be happy to. Um, they have been growing now for quite a while. I was hoping they're going to open when I was away, but they are clearly not ready yet. They are swelling up really nicely. So hopefully the bottom ones at least will be open very, very soon. Next, we have my mislabeled Vanda um, that I have featured in my latest video. Um, I am have to I have to say, it's growing on me. Um, the blooms, I think, are becoming more orangey rather than brown. Um, still don't like the habit of the petals and sepals curling back, and uh, I mean curling back. <laughs> they're not even pulled back; they curled back. Um, I, not sure I like that, but I do love the color. And not sure about the fragrance again, it smells like Listerine. However, as I've mentioned in my video um, about this Vanda, my husband thinks it smells like a bubble gum. So I guess every, every person's sense of smell is different. Um, I love the lip, I, I can't deny, I love the lip. And I do love the tessellation on the petals and sepals. And uh, I think I like the color too. I will definitely keep it. Um, I do like it. It's growing on me. It's definitely growing on me. So that one is in flower. And it's been in flower, I think, for at least a week. We will see how long it will last. Next up, we have got Phalaenopsis Tetraspi C1. And again, it's still blooming with white flowers with tiny red speckles. Um, I was hoping it's going to give me um, more red on the flowers, but clearly that is not the case. Um, so I've got some more blooms open here. There we go. And again, just the speckles. I'm wondering if maybe maybe mislabeled, maybe it's not C1. Um, because it did flower in the winter and it had speckles. Um, the flowers were purely, mostly white uh, with a tiny speckles. And again, now it's the summer. The temperatures are much, much warmer and um, it still flowers the same. So I don't think the temperature is the answer. I think it may be mislabeled, may not be C1. Um, I have to uh, get another C1 just to compare. Nevertheless, flowers are gorgeous, pure white, and it has got slight fragrance um, to the flowers. I'm trying to kind of, there we go. Next, we have Phalaenopsis Mini Mark with two flower spike. I've had, this is my third mini mark now, and I have to say the previous two were growing great, amazing roots. However, somehow they slowly died. And I have heard that European ones, uh, European clones have got a virus and that's why they're dying. Now this one, so far, finger crossed, it's a flower, it's going to flower. It doesn't look like it's going to wither away anytime soon. Um, the leaves are quite small, they're not growing, growing to the full potential. However, what I have noticed with this Phalaenopsis is that it likes light and it likes quite a lot of that light. Um, it's growing under my Barina grow lights, um, quite close to them actually, and the foliage is still very, very dark. So that tells me that this particular fall likes highlight. 
so hopefully maybe i have cracked it maybe that's how it's supposed to grow uh we will see um but at the moment i'm looking forward to this beautiful show that it's going to give me with two flower spikes Next, in bud, with two flower spikes, I have got no ID Peloric Phalaenopsis. I will include the uh, photos of the flowers because they are beautiful, really, indeed, um, in this video. Uh, it has got, it's not a big flower, it's got quite small flower, um, um, leaves. However, the root system is just humongous. It's growing in this, I think this is... 17 centimeter pot um yes and the, it's i have to say it's very heavy it's full of roots but the leaves it's themselves are not that big so it's not a massive spa um, space saver i have to say however and the flowers are not big however they're gorgeous uh, so i'm looking forward to see them again they're slightly fragrant they have got citrusy fragrance so um definitely gorgeous combination because they do look quite juicy and citrusy in color so um that is a nice combination with the fragrance um now two flower spikes one here one under the leaf uh hopefully this one's going to bloom first um i'm looking forward to it And the next one, as you can tell, is another Phalaenopsis. It's Phalaenopsis equestris cerulea. Um, the flower spike is growing quite weirdly because um, it has been growing quite far away from the window um, and I think it's growing towards the light, uh, which is not ideal. Uh, however, I'm still going to enjoy the blooms. This is the first time blooming for me and they're meant to be blue or bluish rather. Um, obviously being equestrians they're gonna be small but there should be quite a lot of them so uh, yes I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that one in bloom and today's video I would like to end with the last flowering Phalaenopsis um, this is Phalaenopsis Lindon Mix Zebra 708 and this has been in flower for quite some time now it hasn't got a fragrance unfortunately but um, the colors and the pattern are absolutely gorgeous so i don't mind the lack of a fragrance so that's it for today's video um those are the orchids that are in flower and in bud in my collection um i'll be doing update with the ones that are in bud very soon once they open the flower the buds and they develop the gorgeous flowers but for today thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye